Good afternoon, Jonathan here, your local South London bottle digger, Red Robin tip bottle digger. We're a bit out of area today. Here we are in Shirley, the Sand Rock and Badger's Den or Badger's Mount, can't quite remember. Little bit of history of the area. 130 bus go past. On this corner here, there used to be a public water fountain many, many years ago. And that was hit in the past by many vehicles. The Sand Rock Pub. Been here for many, many years, probably mid to late 1800s said to be haunted by a preacher and possibly his dog sand pits road this whole area used to be sand and gravel pits and until the mid 90s it used to be open, and they've now, as always, built loads of houses everywhere. There is a possibility they may have made clay pipes on the sand pits Shirley site, and also bees and brooms. Also, I did find a clay pipe with um, I think it was JT Owen Sand Rock Shirley on it so that's a clay pipe we're going to be working in this area also I heard a story about kids in the 1950s there was a yard up here I'm not exactly sure what it was but the kids put gravel into the hubcaps of somebody's car. Of course, when this person took off in the car, the racket from the gravel in these hubcaps must have been truly awful. So we're working in the sand rock and Badger's Mound or Badger's Den area all along this area here from this corner up to about here I think it was pre-1930s there used to be a row of shops and outlets I think it was called Teapot Row and they they used to have um, tea shops and that kind of stuff here so um, the surprise pub is down there so that's a little bit of history that I know of going to be working in the area, going to travel very light, just a Dunlop bag and a rake and a few, few tools, going to see if we can find a few old bottles in the woods at Badger's Mount, I'll catch you later, see ya! Guys and gals, we're back again, must apologise, it's not Badger's Den and it's not Badger's Mount, it's Badger's Hole. So here we are, up on Shirley Hills. Skit, CO Rainbow, Kim and I found a few bits and pieces up here the other day, including two half pint milk bottles, United Dairies. Also found uh, uh, Ockley Manor Farm Dairy milk bottle, also half pint from South Croydon. So, also found a busted brick feature here. I'm not entirely sure what it is, some kind of outhouse. There's quite a bank here, a lot of soil falling down. Did find a bottle here the other day it was a sheer top nice blue glass looked like a manwaring chutney bottle 
but it was damaged so we're going to be working in this little area here it's definitely signs of bottles and broken crockery and all that kind of stuff up here finally I have managed to repair my rake there you go that's all fixed up now working at very 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 light today just got a couple of cultivating tools so yeah we'll get stuck in here see if I'll find anything at all to be honest I'm not expecting much but I may be proved wrong let's get to work welcome back guys it's Jonathan here your local South London bottle digger well it's turned out quite interesting even though there's a lack of finds it's turned more into a archaeology exploration and it appears I've found a feature my guess is an outside lab would you believe it one wall here a wall at the back and a third wall which goes up and there's a corner there seems to be concrete or compacted ground either side and a waste pipe so it could well be an outside toilet <laughs> uh, or as the Americans might call something like a privy right. it hasn't generated many finds I'm afraid a couple of dry ink powder bottles tiny little files a domino three and two looks to be bone mm. which is that's quite interesting tiny remnant of a clay pipe two winkles so there's definitely a tip around there domestic tip around here somewhere and I'm not really sure could be the remains of an old oil lamp paraffin lamp there were some interesting hints nice piece of glazed it's got Brunnen Brunnen I'm not really sure what it is to be honest and a piece of bottle bottom of glass bottle nothing on it though nice colour glass well we'll stop here we're going to continue landscaping the area a little bit more tidy it up and then I'm going to have a free, free style walk around, see if I can find any bits that way. Be back soon. An interesting find. Just found a dump car. No idea what kind it is. It looks to be in a state. I think it come from up there. Roof is a bit bashed. Don't know if I can see any more from the other side. Could be a Volvo, I suppose. Possibly a two four five. Take a look at the engine. Hmm. It's 
probably been there since the 70s or 80s. Yeah, so it is Well, that was an unexpected find. Been here a long time. Well, I've done my best to find the lightest place possible around here, but it's starting to get dark now. To be honest, didn't find too many items today. We'll see what we've got anyway. Found a, another old wide mouth milk bottle. Looks like it was painted. Oh, oh my God, you're choking. Liam's Liam's farm Keston Big in the Hill I don't believe it J something and J Marden T and J Marden Liam's farm can't believe that Liam's farm Years ago when I was a child, it was torture going to the car boots down there. Father used to drag me around for about three to four hours just looking car boots. Oh, I cried. 1950s or 60s. Oh, white lemonade bottle. Delicious double devil cream please return bottle Wallens dairy Wallens dairy seen these earlier domino a couple of bits of drying powder files and a couple of Coffee jars full of fern. I'll probably clean them up and drop them in a nice damp spot somewhere. I find that quite interesting. And the star finder of the day. Nice. Brown poison bottle. First time I found a brown poison. Half an ounce ribbed on the front looks like a 30s top possibly 40s and 50s so I found a few bits not particularly exciting I'm quite <laughs> that's quite a shock that milk bottle being from Liam's farm because I remember Liam's farm very well used to have a banger racing circuit down here as well years ago Right, that's the finds. Thanks for joining me at my sand rock and badger's hole. Well, I just had to look around, found a few bits and pieces, nothing terribly exciting. Nice brown poison cream pot or a white bottle. Milk bottle from Liam's Farm, lovely jubbly. Yeah. It will call it a do for today again. And catch you again later with another video.